welcome back welcome back welcome back if you guys are new here i am adore lyric if you're not new here then welcome back y'all already know who i am what i'm doing um <laughs> sorry y'all just saw during the walkthrough so just wanted to say hey to you guys and say thank you so much for coming back by and kicking it with me here on my channel please excuse these cords they are so ghetto and they are always just in the way every time i try to film but i'm not gonna let that stop this show i have to figure out i have to put the little thing on the wall where it hides the cords so for now you guys will just see that <clears throat> so on today's little video today i actually am preparing my hair for my wig that i got made um shout out to debony for making it for me um so last night i actually wore a wig and this is just a, what i did to kind of have a foundation um so since this is not like my typical go-to um style for under my wigs i wanted to um go ahead and do a video on how i will um typically have my hair under my wigs so i'm gonna be showing you guys today what i use to make sure that my natural hair is nice and moisturized and contained um while being under my wig for several weeks at a time um honestly i haven't really worn a wig in a while so it's a little different but i'm just gonna actually um either a two strand twist or flat twist my hair i haven't really decided yet um, but i'm gonna make sure that i moisturize it to make sure that it is getting all of the nutrients that it needs okay um and also <clears throat> You want to make sure that your hair stays moisturized while it's under your wig because if not then that's when your hair can break and do all of the extra stuff that we don't want um, because it's going to be in a protective style for so long where i won't be manipulating or touching my hair um this is really good but you also just have to make sure that you take care of your hair while it's under your wig cap so just to give you all of the extra info that you did not ask for um let's go ahead and get into it and if you're not already subscribed make sure you do that because why wouldn't you we need you here okay we want you here join the fam i sound real dumb and i sound like a typical youtuber i'm sorry but yeah go ahead subscribe and do what you gotta do because yeah you are gonna come back and watch my video anyway let's be real oh, okay who am i oh no <laughs> like y'all see the back right here i was thinking about and i'm still thinking about keeping this like this because the back is longer so i feel like i might just braid it down but i haven't really decided how i want to go about doing the back part let me look at something real quick mm. all right let's just start in the front and we're gonna of course moisturize each section if you guys don't already know how I do this, I just use the LCO method. So leave-in, so first I spray with water first, um, and that can stand for leave-in or liquid. <clears throat> and then cream, which is just like a moisturizer. And, um, oh, this is cute. A little cute little stuff. Ha, ah, should I take, should I? Look at that little braid out from just this little section. We cute. <laughs> So let's just go ahead <clears throat> and I did some of this yesterday and I don't want my hair to revert so I'm just gonna not OD with this part but just want to make sure I got some liquid into it <clears throat> and again since my hair is gonna be up for a while I want to just make sure that it's super moisturized because I'm trying to you know retain my length I haven't always been super obsessed with length but I kind of want to focus more so on length now because my hair has not really like it's grown but it's always like to me it's never really going past where it's at now and it's always in this length no matter if i was relaxed or <coughs> natural so yeah i'm just really trying to make sure my hair stays moisturized keep it trimmed and all of that because i want my hair to grow i don't want it to just be you know the same stagnant length as it's always been all right, so since we did the liquid, I'm just gonna do water and I put leave-in on my hair yesterday, so I don't really feel like I need it today. I'm gonna go in now with using some of the Natural Curling Defining Cream by Eden. And I'm just gonna take a section like that and just rub it in. And then I'm gonna go in with Live. I actually never used this and I used it like back in the day. It was actually something that Jasmine had told me about when we were in school. Um, but it's like a 
hair dressing and conditioner and people use it for like dry hair so since again that i'm trying to prepare my hair for being up for so long i just wanted to put it on here um just to give that extra moisture even though my hair is not like dry dry i just don't want it to get that way so then i'm gonna go in with some olive oil for the whole section okay so now that that is situated nice and literally it feels so good like so good like look at my curls i don't even think y'all can see them but look they're so cute <laughs> they're so cute look at this oh my god okay all right so i think i'm going to i think i'm gonna do two strand twists because that makes me feel better in life y'all already know how to do two strand twists so really it's not a tutorial at all by any means but i'm gonna put some gel when i'm gonna use the extreme styling gel because i do want to have some hold because i'm not trying to have my hair be all frizzy and dumb even though it's gonna be kept away um actually i could do plaits too i don't feel like doing that though it's too much work and i ain't about that life you know so I'm just gonna um, two strand this whole section and then, yeah, that's it. And then I, at the end, y'all see what I'll do for that. But um, I'm just gonna two strand it like this. And look at that juiciness. Whoo! Ah! Oh! oh. I haven't used the lid in a while. I literally have not ever. I used it because, as you can see, like, most of it is out. I don't remember the last time that I actually used it. It's been like years, but I, like I hold onto products for a very long time. So I'm just using like that on each section. I need to start using lid. I know Jasmine had told me she used it. Her hair always looks cute, even though she tries to tell me otherwise. And I'm just using the Felicia Leatherwood um, brush. Y'all closer to me now. Cute and juicy girl. Head on over to this section. I wanna love you. Pretty young thing. I know most people like braid their hair down before they do wigs, but I don't know how to braid my hair now. Like I know how to <laughs> plait. I know how to do braids, but they're not like ever clean they're not ever cute so i didn't want to torture myself with that today so that's why i'm trying to focus on flat twists like if i ask tristan to do it i can get it braided down um but if it's me and myself honestly y'all that's a no-go it's not cute at all um but yeah so i'm just gonna finish on this section and then we can chat a little bit after but yeah i'm pretty much just going to do this for the rest of the video um but the key is going to be how i um kind of lay them down which is like an important factor for a wig because you want to make sure that your wig is flat of course um and then i also will have a separate video on me um you know tailoring the wig to my liking and you guys can be on the lookout for that yeah so i'm not using flaxseed gel this time because i don't have any more and i had to learn the hard way how to store it um so if you guys saw my other video on how to make um you know diy flaxseed gel um <clears throat> just keep in mind that it has to be stored correctly or it will be pretty bad like with the smell like <laughs> it's really embarrassing because i literally did not think about it until um i had to actually smell the horrible smell of it going bad um and i actually should go back to that video and just leave like a disclaimer in the description because child when that stuff goes bad it smells so bad like it smelled it smoked the whole house like it's embarrassing but anyway so i'm gonna finish this i think i might watch something on youtube while i do this and um so i'm gonna speed up this video because 
I'm pretty sure you guys know what I look like or know how to trans twist and yeah. But the big thing again, y'all, is a moisture and then laying it flat. So like look how long my hair is right here. Oh I got hang time. And y'all, I'm not using any of my lights because I'm trying to focus on natural lighting. And it's four o'clock. 435 actually and the sun's going down so i might have to bring out my lights which i don't feel like doing because it's a whole ordeal and i don't feel like pulling them out putting them back i'm lazy i don't even know if i would say lazy but i just don't feel like it you know is that considered lazy no i think it's just preference it's gonna be flat, flat when we done, girl. Flat, flat. <laughs> Ew. I hate when people be like, stomach on flat, flat, dumb. All right, so let me um do the rest of my hair and I'll come back and talk to y'all. Okay y'all, so now that the front is done and all juicified and cute, we're gonna move over to the back, which is this hot mess right here. Um, I am actually going to, I'm trying to figure out if I should flat twist it down, but I think I'm just gonna keep it consistent and do the um, two strands twists in the back. It's just harder to show y'all that way. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then um, come back once it's all ready to go. Um, and I'm gonna obviously just repeat the same entire process. Um, and yeah, but I just wanted to show y'all that the front is now done. Honestly, I should have wore this as a style because them little four braids are so cute on my hair. And like, I'm kind of nervous that I'm going to wear this wig and I'm gonna miss my actual hair because I do that sometimes where I love like wearing my natural hair which is so weird because I know a lot of people don't but I actually love wearing my hair out um, so I'm worried that I'm gonna miss my hair while it's up in this wig but I really need to like give my hair a break so I know it's necessary so I just want to make sure that I take care of it but look how cute it looks it could have been a cute little braid out today but yeah all right y'all so let me do this and i will be back so i finished all of my twists all right so now that all of my twists are done they're super cute juicy long and flourishing all right so <clears throat> from here what i will do is I'm going to pin my hair. So I have a whole bag full of like clips and bobby pins and things like that. What I'm gonna do now that all the twists are done is that I'm essentially just gonna pin them all down um, and I'm just gonna make it flat because obviously this is cute and all. And even the, the cap that I wear, which is this cap, will likely like um, push it down and make it flatter. I still don't want to give my hair any chance to be puffy underneath my cap because I want my wig to be flat as possible. I'm going to use several of these goodie um, bobby pins. They look like this. These are like old um, and I have like different ones in this bag too. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Before I do that, I am going to go in with the wild growth hair oil and it's supposed to help with like hair growth obviously go ahead put some in even though i already did it i already used olive oil just want to be extra you guys and just go in using that nozzle hold on jane Let's see. 
And keep in mind, you don't want like it to be super tight because you are gonna have your hair in this for a while. I'm just like gathering a few up and pinning them based on like how close they are and where I want them. And this one, group them. See like this one's a little shorter. I'm just gonna take these two. all pinned down for the gods and again this is comfortable it's not like something where I feel like I cannot stand these bobby pins in my head because one bobby pins don't bother me um, and two it gets it flat it's not like super restricting it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all to me um, but obviously it's up to your discretion if you want to try this um, so now because I still have to make my wig super cute. I'm not gonna be able to show you guys exactly what I do at this second. Um, but yeah, so I'm still um, working on making my wig cute um, or as cute to my liking. So I'm just gonna show you guys what it will look like with this. So here I'm just using, I don't know if you guys saw the flaxseed gel um, video or not, but I'm using these same knee highs that I had in that video a new one obviously it's just the same kind is what i mean flat cool calm collected so you can go ahead in and put you know your foundation on your flat so when you put your wig on sis you're gonna be cute flat flat all that thick hair i got you wouldn't even know by looking at it because guess what we lay that thing now okay I am gonna go and I'll insert some pictures here on the screen and what it looks like when I have my wig on, how I look cute and laid for the guys. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope that you guys all enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave a comment down below saying how much you love me, how much you like this thing. And let me know if you guys try something similar if you just do the typical braid down. Again, that works. I just don't know how to braid it, so I gotta use what I got to get what I want, you know? But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I already said that and I'm saying it again because I love y'all and I want y'all to come back. So I want y'all to be subscribed and I want the notifications on one. Hit that little bell in the corner because you need to know when I upload stuff. Every Friday is a goal. So make sure y'all hold me accountable. I've been doing pretty good so far though. So we lit over here. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video.